Yo, so some evidence leaked from the Dominion voting defamation trial against Fox News, including recordings between the Trump team and Fox News, confirming that there were no issues with the voting machines. Here's one of those recordings from December 5th, 2020. Are any of the machines, I know it was on War Room the other day with Steve Bannon, have any of the machines been looked at? He had said that one was looked at in Georgia. Uh, I'd have to check on that in terms of Georgia. I know during the audit they did check on those machines. Um, they're really, you know, the, the, if we can just go off the record for one sec here. Yeah, Chip Clark. Um, I, I, want, I don't want us to say it if it's, not that's why we're yeah, checking. I would, I would, I would, I think they have looked at the machines. Um, when the when the Secretary of State did its audit, uh, there there was a lot, of, I think, a fair bit of looking at the machines. Um, you know, the audit came in pretty darn close to what the machine count was with the receipts. So, you know, I don't know the outcome of those, but our understanding, again, this is from the Secretary of State's office, was that there weren't any physical issues with machines on those inspections. Yeah, so I'll stop smiling in a minute. But in the meantime, welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your legal analyst, Adrian Lawrence. It seems rather evident that Fox News will not win this lawsuit. But for what, the second coming of Christ, a zombie apocalypse, or a sudden change of heart from Dominion voting, all of those I don't think are possible. But this recording seems to appear to undermine Fox News's case. Uh, and also former producer Abby Grossberg says that there are more recordings from Fox News, that of Rudy Giuliani and Trump allies, basically saying that there was no reason for Fox News to say what they said. This per The Daily Beast. Grossberg, who is suing the conservative network for harassment and a toxic work environment, claims that the behind the scenes conversations with Giuliani, former Trump lawyer Sidney Powell, and Trump campaign officials featured them admitting they had no evidence to support their Dominion election fraud lies. Additionally, she says an advisor of former President Donald Trump pointed out the importance of January 6 weeks before the Capitol attacks. Noting that the advisor said there were no issues with voting machines and January 6 was now the backstop for determining the election. Grossberg, a former producer for Tucker Carlson and Maria Bartiromo, uh, who accused the Fox of pressuring her to give misleading testimony in the case. Well, she's offered to testify in favor of Dominion voting, but it's not clear whether she will be called as a witness. In light of the recent sanctions against Fox for hiding evidence, it may be worthwhile to have her testify to really add some fuel to the fire. Grossberg's attorney definitely thinks Fox News is in a bad situation. I don't need to make Dominion's arguments for them. They're doing pretty well. But uh, it seems to me that, uh, that these tapes go to the heart of the issue that's been left for the court, uh, for the jury, rather, in the uh, Dominion case, which is whether there's actual malice. One could even argue that if, if um, Dominion had these, these tapes, and there, by the way, uh, there, there seemed to be other evidence that was also withheld from what I've been reading just uh, in the Dominion case, uh, it would seem to me that if they, if they had this evidence and, and had been able to use it in their summary judgment motion, maybe they would have gotten a complete victory. Again, I will stop smiling in a minute. In the meantime, do you think that the Delaware jury out there is really going to give Dominion voting $1.6 billion or more or less? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.